So welcome to the next section. I want to explain what I was just telling you before about the cross. I'm going to use my pen to illustrate that for you. Uh, you know, how many times do you think you might sin in a day? Well, let's say three. And that'd be a banner day for me. I never do that well. But we'll use it as a round figure. Okay? Agree? Okay? Three times a day, 365 days a year. That's a thousand sins a year. Multiply that by your age, and then you come up with a, an amount. Well, here's what Jesus did on the cross so that you can understand exactly what he did so that you could be forgiven. Jesus took our sins. I'm going to use my pen to use that as an illustration. This pen represents your sin. Okay, this is you and this is Jesus. The verse said in 2 Corinthians 5.21, God made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Now think about that. Your sins multiplied by a thousand times a year. God took all of those sins and placed them on Jesus, punished him so that we could be made righteous or be forgiven or be clean in his sight. That's why Jesus said, it is finished, literally paid in full. You understand? God says Jesus died because he loved you and he wants you to be in heaven. The second part of Romans 6, 23 says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. It's a gift, but like any other gift, it's of no value to you unless you believe in him and receive it. Do you think it's your, your birthday party and I bought you a gift? When I buy you a gift, I want to give it to you. And it's free. But you've got to receive it when I offer it to you. And that's what it means to receive Christ. So first, I've got to admit that I'm a sinner. I've broken God's law. I've lived my own way. Just like Frank Sinatra said, I did it my way. And then secondly, you've got to believe in Jesus as your personal Savior. We'll pick up with that part next time.